Hello guys, it's Rikers and in today's video I will show you my PvE build for open world farming and for dungeon farming. Let's start with theory and then I will show you how it works in practice. These are my skills for open world. It's Falling Sword, Concentration, Condom, Horse and as a Paragon I am using Treasure Hunter for increasing XP from allied monsters and loot from them. Let's look on my set items. I am using 4 piece Vitus because it increased my benefic effect duration by 30% which is important for horse and 30% increase attack speed which is good too. And then I am using 4 piece Shell Bass because I like Crusader's primary attack but it's my personal preference and it increased my primary attack damage by 15% and primary attack speed by 25%. With set items I have one important note. I realized that most players are looking for combat rating at the first place, which is alright, but they are overlooking magic attributes. I mean when you reach combat rating requirements for Inferno difficulty, then you should prioritize your magic attributes over the combat rating because they are very important and very powerful. Probably I will surprise you, but I am comfortably performing Inferno 5 and I am still using the rings which are only Inferno 3 drops. You can see my low combat rating on them. The reason why I am using them is the magic and its skill cooldowns reduced. From this ring it's by 4%, from this ring it's by 3% and you can see uh, here's my combat rating in overall for open world farming. It's enough as you can see to kill monsters without problems and if you look here on my cooldown reduction it's 15% and thanks to this I have almost unlimited skills which is perfect for open world farming. Let's move to my legendaries. My helm is Glamthorn Crown, chest is Akarat's Rebuke, my shoulders are Sivket Advantage, Pants Galloping Brilliance, my main hand is Observer, second main hand is Luminous Rain, my shield is Batterytum and second shield is Gimcrack Buckler. Now in practice looks like this. I have, as I said, unlimited skills running through everything. Everything dies in second, I can immediately press my skills. My horse. So you can see I can kill everything in seconds without dropping my horse. And my skills are still on. This is nice farming build. Let's move to my dungeon build. Here's my skills. I am using the Falling Sword. Instead of Consecration, I am using the Banner for Dungeons and Condemn and Horse. My Paragon for Dungeons is Weaver because it's great damage boost. My set items are the same as for the Open World, so it's 4-piece Vitus and 4-piece Shell Bass. Some changes are in Legendaries. So helm is arrow keeper for banner, chest is Akrat Rebuke, my shoulders are Akans Glory, which increased the damage of my falling sword, and with awaking it's plus another 10%, so in overall it's 29% damage increase for falling sword. Then my pants are galloping brilliance. Main hand is Observer for Punish, second main hand is Luminous Rain. 
here's another change is my shield it's peer of starband because it's increased the duration of banner and the last one is gimcrack buckler here it is in practice it's temple of namari inferno 5 keep in mind i am here without party as you can see i am killing these mobs now what i really like is to stand there then press my falling sword everything is hitting and which is nice under my banner now here i am using the banner my enemy skills look at this run to them kill them and again usually you are here in party of four I am alone here and I have no problems to kill them. Now you can see it versus boss how it works. How is my damage? Look at this, no problem, no problem soloing the boss. This boss is strong but still I am killing without no problems. Now he's dead. Let's look versus Sargot how I will stand. Okay, we are doing huge damage. And even Sargot is dead in seconds. So, it's really powerful build. And very good for farming dungeons in general.